Good afternoon. My name is Wahid Allah Let me share my screen to show you what I have for you today. So I'm going to share my screen first. And um, as you can see, my website, my web university free educational videos, I've been providing you with all these online uh, free educational videos. Uh, you're welcome to watch them and subscribe them and make comments. So without further ado, let me um, show you what I have for you uh, in today's session. In today's session, I'm going to open a Linux terminal, which I have already opened here. I have logged on to um, my cloud um, Linux uh, platform. Uh, and then uh, if I just type in uname minus A, it shows basically that I'm running Linux operating system. And if I do a cat etc OS dash release, you can see that um, I'm running the Ubuntu version 20.04 latest uh, long-term support. LTS stands for long-term support. And the name of the code uh, for this one is Jellyfish, and Jemmy Jellyfish. So and this one, um, you can also do a cat minus N so I can uh, refer to the specific uh, line number, in this case, line five, it is just uh, showing you that uh, Ubuntu 20.04. And then the name and version also shows here. The name is uh, Ubuntu. You can get the name also from uh, uname minus uh, N for uh, the node name of the host and uname minus S for the system name, which is Linux in this case. Uh, but uh, Linux uh, has uh, a, a variety of distribution. The uh, distribution in this case is Debian. And I'm going to just um, uh, show you that uh, the detail of this um, operating system, what you can do with it. In this case, I'm going to show you one um, package manager. Um, there's two package, ma two package manager actually in uh, Linux Ubuntu version. One is called um, apt-get and apt-install. Uh, uh, I mean, apt-get and apt-cache uh, and apt uh, itself so you could do app and then say a search for example for hd pram uh, pram is the um, uh, programming uh, uh, binary that, that allows you to and just uh, get the performance of your speed so if it is installed you can do which uh, uh, hd hd um, pram uh, which uh, requires like uh, to um, just tell you uh, that uh, this is a binary actually. If you do a file on it, you will see that it is a binary executable file. Uh, uh, file, I have to uh, provide the slash user bin in this case, so, which is slash s bin, and it will tell you a prompt. By default, if you do this one, it's not gonna do the same thing. I could have done like file dollar sign and then and say um, which hd parm and then that would uh, parse uh, the slashes bin as if I'm just um, doing the uh, hard link uh, here with providing by, by the physical um, link. Here, you don't have to, you just uh, say that is the case. So we know that this is installed and this is an executable file, but what is um, what is hdparm? So you could do a what is hdparm and it says that it gets or set and the SATA or IDE and device parameters. So you can get information about your hard disk uh, information related to and the um, system that you have. I'll have another video uh, covering full um, uh, installation and everything with it. But at this time, I'm going to show you the app uh, uh, command lines. So the uh, other command is snap. And the other one is uh, Debian uh, PKG. The uh, Debian PKG is uh, uh, like which deep uh, PKG is uh, just uh, Debian package manager is the mother of all uh, other packages. With Debian PKG, you can install the app, app get, uh, get app cache and everything else, snap and everything. And then which snap is that um, Debian also has a snap that is um, all the packages are self-contained. So in this one, I'm going to just use app uh, command, app get, get to just uh, get more parameters. So for example, if I do app, 
uh, show and then HD farm, and then it's going to just uh, show the package name. So right here, I wrote the app show and it says the package name is HD farm. The version is this and it is um, maintainer is Ubuntu developers. And then it tells you all the details of uh, like sourceforge.net that has the homepage for it. And then if you wanna have anything with the source code that you wanna uh, report the bug where to uh, just uh, get that information uh, or address to. So all the detail is there. And then also uh, with this one, you can do a list to see if it is installed already on your system. Since we did the which HD farm, it uh, does show that it's there. And if now I just wanna know the syntax of it, I can do an info uh, on HD farm to see the syntax. And the syntax is similar to what the man page is for the info it shows you. And the man page is uh, section eight. You can see that it requires the command itself, the option, which could be like whatever argument that you pass in dash dash for both or something, and then the device name. The de device name, and so in order to get the device name, you actually get to uh, see like, for example, which, um, and not which, sorry, um, uh, you are going to do fdesk dash l slash dev slash uh, sda, for example. This is uh, showing you the device. If you didn't know that you had SDA or SDB, you could do FDesk and you will get the list of all the packages and that you could uh, see it. And then also you can do a list block. Uh, a list block also shows you the uh, list of uh, devices here. And then in addition, you can also um, do, for example, um, uh, FDesk L dev slash sdb for example to get the sdb partition table and then um, there's also command cat prop uh, partition that you can just uh, see the partition tables information for uh, your system so i'm going to uh, just um, cover and uh, hd prom uh, here as well uh, just to uh, show you in one video rather than making it two video because i don't think it is too long uh, to do that one so you're welcome to just watch both of them in one video. Now we have done the app. Uh, we know that it is installed. We need to just run the HD uh, command. So in order to uh, run the command, as I showed you, HD farm is the actual command. And then if you want uh, like uh, arguments, you put like dash dash verbose to see in the entire uh, information. So in this uh, dash T, that will uh, just show you the transfer rate. So dev slash SDA is my device. And then because I put the verbose, you notice all the information here are showing in verbose mode. So this is uh, just in details. If you don't want the verbose mode in the syntax is just dash T and then you will get that information here with HD prom. And then it says timing buffer disk. The transfer rate is showing you um, a little bit faster than the actual read and write that is happening on the disk because it's happening on the raw data rather than the actual disk. So if you wanted to the actual disk uh, read uh, information, you put here dash dash um, direct. This would uh, give you um, from the actual disk, it reads it from the sectors of the disk to see that uh, like zero direct here that is going to just do it. Notice this is a little bit uh, faster in terms of megabyte versus the other one, but and then you can also add that dash dash verbose here. So this will just give you more um, verbose option here. And then um, on top of dash dash and direct, you can also um, do, for example, if you wanna know the size of this disk. And so let me clear my screen first. If I just clear my screen here. And then on this command that I did here, this time I'm not gonna do the dev uh, SDA. I'm going to uh, say, um, just give me the fdesk dash L on the size of this uh, dev slash SDA. As you can see, this uh, dev SDA is about 931 gig. So if I wanna read from halfway to the disk, then I could just do a, a command here with HD prom and instead of uh, just uh, saying um, dash T, let's not do a, a verbose yet. 
we're going to do a, a verbose uh, after. So dash dash offset. Offset is just uh, what uh, uh, sector you want to read. Since this one is about 931, if I want to read about uh, um, halfway there, maybe 465, uh, 66, let's just try that. And that number is close to half of that one. And then it will just tell you that you're reading from the offset 466 gig. So you are um, okay to read from a certain offset. And then uh, notice that as we move to the uh, end of the sector, notice this time I'm going to do 900. At the offset of 900, see if this number uh, reduces. If it is slowed down there at offset, yeah, 97. And notice that if I just do at offset of um, five, for example, and the, the uh, early disk, it might come a little bit faster than those ones. Yeah, 143, so it moved. But uh, this one, you have to do a number of uh, sequence. You cannot just rely on a few of them to just uh, see how fast it is and how so low it is uh, reading certain sectors. And then um, you're welcome to just um, even script it to run it a, leaf, a few times, but you don't want to do it in an infinite loop or something because you're reading too much of your hard disk uh, information and that's not uh, healthy. So what do we want to do here? Uh, we did this one. And as you could, uh, could see, some of these offset is there. Let's do that dash dash verbose here also to see if, um, we're getting this uh, incoming data, the sectors that are there that are uh, showing in uh, hexadecimal value. So that is uh, good. In order to know the syntax of um, HD and perm and dash dash help might just not give you here uh, the details, um, but I'm going to say HD man, HD um, perm. So this one, it uh, gives you all the syntax of these. These are the arguments. And then um, uh, you could also go through uh, some uh, options of uh, this one and then go to some website and then uh, and try practicing in different options. Uh, what if uh, I just do a dash dash, um, dash dash edge? And notice that if I just type in a wrong pass uh, this, like let's say dash dash verbose here, and then verbose, I'm going to type in something like garbage. And then in order to get the actual uh, commands, this is not recognized. And then sometimes like if you say dash T dash, um, dash offset, offset and instead of typing it like this, I'm gonna say offsite. See if uh, it, it did not <laughs> recognize, but it's go going to say you need to uh, specify the parameters and then it does not understand the flag. So you have to uh, get the right flag. So in this case, if I do this, notice that since I um, only mistype the offset uh, to just instead of dash offset like this, I uh, put offsite in order to force it to just give me these um, uh, kind of uh, verbose options. So there must be one argument here with dash H, uh, it says display uh, terse usage information. It did not do it when I did it. And then here security dash help and, and it says that uh, it must be another option here, but let's try the dash one dash and then H lowercase and then, yeah, actually dash H does it. so. You could just try that one and that, and that will just give you exactly the argument, okay? So this was uh, how to find out the speed of your hard disk. And then, um, so for the, each of the disk, if you want the second disk, F disk and dash L dev slash SDB, notice SDB is about um, uh, uh, 931 gig also. So I could just do on the SDB, I could say HD perm and, and dash T, and then I'm going to just say dev slash SDB. If I just want a good uh, only for the SDB, you will see the speed of it also. And that way you can uh, get that information. 171, and if you just do um, 
dash dash um, direct, you will see that um, it is reading from the actual disk, and then uh, zero uh, or old uh, direct, uh, and it says 169. And if you want to read it from a certain offset, you could do that as well. Okay. So like uh, dash dash um, verbose and dash T would also give you um, the verbose option. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to go to our website and then um, join our website by subscribing and then watching these videos. There's a lot of nice videos about um, uh, Python programming, shell programming, C programming, C++, Linux, Unix, um, Solaris, um, Ubuntu, uh, a lot of the advanced and uh, intermediate and basic Unix commands, system administration uh, stuff, Apache web server, and you're gonna enjoy it. You just uh, go there, visit and learn from it and make some comments if uh, you are missing anything so I can fulfill your needs. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. God bless you all.